Okay. Coach, I know you always want five guys, ideally, you know, working on the interior. What do you think about some of the four guys, whether it's Fisk, Farmer, um, you know, Briggs, guys like that that are bringing the energy forward? You know, it's funny you said five guys. If on the inside, you could take, if you could have five, five, six, seven guys ready that can play, rotate, you know, 12 game season and play hard, man, that's that's ideal situation. We we have a ideal situation here. We got a bunch of guys that are working hard and loving each other. Come on, how has um, Braden looked the last few practices? You know, after not doing much in the spring, it seems he's coming along now. Yeah, Braden is a, Braden is a smart football player. Plays hard, plays hard, plays fast, plays hard. His, his engine never stops. Coming off the scrimmage last week, who did you like from your position group at what they did in that setting, and who are you pushing to do more well, as you go well, to this weekend? Well, you know, the biggest thing about it, about the position group, our position group, not my position group, our position group, they played with, with pretty good technique. You, you know, they're using their hands, snatching blocks, running the rest of the pass is pretty good. But one thing, you know, I had to push him this week, got underneath the shoes and things, playing lower pass, playing lower pass, beat the man in front of you, make sure we're being disciplined, doing the little things correct. Because if we do the little things correct, we can be very dominant. We're going to be very dominant if we do the little things correct. KJ Sampson's a young man who's about 14 practices in now. What has stood out about his work ethic and what he's brought to that group? He, he, he's an extremely hardworking kid, smart kid, smart football player. I'm telling you, we are blessed to have KJ. He's, he's going to be a good football player for us. Not only a, a very good football player, he's going to be a great addition to this team and for the community. With Daryl going through what he's going through with the way we're getting denied, what have you just tried to tell him as he's dealing with that situation? Keep working. He's part of this football team. You know, he is part of this football He's part of our family. We got his back. What have you seen from Joshua over the last, I guess, year in particular in this camp? The last year, Joshua has gotten gotten bigger, and you know his football IQ has gone way up. He knew football, but his football IQ has gone to another level, knowing the backfield sets and things like that, and understanding when offensive linemen pulling, when linemen are running stretch plays, where the backs in Josh's football IQ is going way up, even, even higher than it used to be, and, and he's playing harder too. And I'm really enjoying seeing him do that. He's got, is he still moving around as, as good as you need him? He's, yes. He's yes, he's moving around. Hey, he better move around because they know how I'll be getting on. And that's one thing. He has taken the challenge. And Josh, he's working his butt off, man. I really love that. Dennis Briggs. How did you guys feel like you did in the two-man drills? Really, you know what? I don't look at how we do it. I want to see what they did. The progress they're making toward that play at that moment, you, you know what I'm saying? I don't keep tabs like that. I just want to see how they go out there and play, how hard they play. How much has Dennis Briggs, Malcolm Ray, Fabian Lovett, some of those guys that are more veterans in your group, done with some of the younger guys like the Daniel Lyons, KJ Sampson's, and such? Their their coaches on their coaches in the um, classroom, their coaches on the field. They're, they're doing a great job with the guys. And with Daniel Lyons, how has he evolved over the last 12 months for you? He's gotten bigger. And the thing about Daniel is a very smart football player. And, you know, he's just 19 years old. I got to keep working on with his technique, keeping his pass, striking blockers, doing doing those things right, fundamentally sound. That's the thing I'm staying on Daniel, about being fundamentally sound. When you got a talented guy that go out and beat people just on talent, they don't want to. He's buying to that talent. I'm not saying Daniel Lyon, because Daniel Lyon, he's doing that. He He's listening to me. But when you got great talent, you got to push it, push it, push it, push it. Make sure they do it in the right way all the time. With the offensive line you guys have this year, um, what's the battle been like with the defensive line, offensive line? It's been, it, it's been some great battles. Them, uh, Alex Atkinson, he does a great job of coaching, using their hands. Coming out of the hips, you know, double teams, all that. He does a great job. And it's been some great battles. And that, it's been fun to watch both sides and miss each other. You coach the whole defensive line at times. So you see Patrick, you see Jared. I see you complimenting Patrick and the way he's you know, striking the, the sled. I mean, what kind of players Patrick and Jared and kind of the compare and contrast? I tell you what, Patrick may be one of the smartest players I've seen around here in a long time. You know, Patrick coming in, you know, it's like Patrick so much more physical than he used to be because he was light, he wasn't strong. 
and he understands the game. And, and he's becoming an even better pass rusher, stopping the run, striking blockers. He's becoming a, a complete player. He need to keep working though, you know? And Jared, you know how Jared is. Jared's going to work. What the people at home know yeah. about Jared is? So. Yeah, he <laughs> go out, have fun, he work hard, talk some noise, go out and work. You know, have, we have fun in the meeting room talking and things, but Jared works hard. You know, leading the younger guys in the group, him and Pat. You help.